Ladies and gentlemen, smarks of all kind, welcome to the BD MMA channel. I could never do a fake voice, as you know. So, without further ado, the thing I've been uh, teasing, telling, um, kind of, I guess, warning about so that I can eat is uh, I got to do something different with my channel as far as, you know, the 300 free breakdowns on here. It's kind of like it's time uh, make some money. So, yeah, I think uh, everyone deserves to eat. No, this is what the screen looks like. If I weren't signed in, uh, join. I have a ridiculous arrow like I always make. Um, there's two. There's going to be two tiers. One's $4.99 a month, and that is for access to all my videos. And there's going to be more and more going private, by the way. And some people have joined. Um, it's already doing pretty well. And then there's going to be a $24.99 bracket, and that's for privatized film study. And it will be private if you'd like it to be. Um, you can send me five minutes of, of film via Dropbox or via email or however you, however we coordinate it. You could even give me a YouTube link, and then I'll break that down for you according to how you want it broken down. So let's say, how did X Fighter set up X Submission and X Fight, right? That's included as well. There's no, I don't want to make too many limits on it. I want to keep it kind of loose. Uh, it's, you know, it's a lot of money. Um, and then there will be rewards for people as the months progress. So, you know, a couple of months, BDM and May Club, the $5 one, you get reward X, $24.99 Club. Obviously, I'm going to take care of those people um, as very few on my Patreon are up in that, you know, realm. So, without further ado, as you know, that's rolled out now. I, I tried to give everyone a, a fair warning and be fair about it. But I have a mortgage, and uh, yeah, that's kind of important, right? <laughs> I'm either making these or I'm going to starve to death. So I'd like to keep making these. Hopefully you'd like me to keep making these and not just walk away like some people have done. Um, and that's the only way, honestly. So for five bucks a month, you get access to everything. And you're going to see a lot more going private, if I'm being honest. I'm going to go back a year, and probably everything from then back is going to go private. So, without further ado, let's uh, do a nice congratulatory breakdown of my my brother Rob Font, uh, New England Cartel, Calvin Katar's stablemate, his beautiful boxing and defensive grappling that we saw this past weekend against a very dangerous Marlon Marais. And um, P.S. No sense in saying how Marais was wheel kicked. We all know. Okay, it doesn't change anything. All right, let's get started. And we're off. So early stance switching, kind of tapping his way inside. Font goes orthodox for the distance. Faint three into two here after that body kick attempt right there. Katara uses that as well. Cater. Well timed takedown. Uh, Rob uses nice wrist control in a single single leg butterfly guard here. As soon as he gets on the bottom, so he's got his wrist. Head controlled. Goes for like a shoulder crunch, which brings out a strike from Marlon. Um, the, the defensive grappling is important, no doubt. Here we go, posturing up, and he's almost putting it behind his back or in his pocket. As a transition of the wrist to posture by Rob, he'll slide his right arm down to the hip and his left down to the knee, like a knee pick. But Marlon snatched up that, uh, like an arm and guillotine. But it's real hard to submit somebody from half guard when you only got the one leg because passing is not, not too hard and he doesn't have full access to the neck at all. Uh, right here, Rob uses the uh, left arm and left leg to separate the legs and to drive to the fence for for a, a top cradle. And smart to hook here, uh, but uh, Marlon was hip to it. See, with his left leg, he kind of like hooked over because he he's what he's trying to do, I think, is get to, get to his back, and uh, he he ends up framing with an elbow into a knee strike, which Marlon does capitalize on here. See, so boom knee, and he does that kind of turn the corner high C. Marlon converts from a single to a double. It's really a high C to a double. As Rob grabs the wrist and switch hips using the head. This is uh, more of my Triple H theory in effect. Head, hips, hooks, right? Again, this is like a shoulder crunch framing using the fence to raise his hips as well. It's really good defensive grappling. Um, I've rolled the throw before. He's a, he's a good grappler. 
uh, still controlling the hips and had hooks will go into his like a Z guard almost like a, a coyote half guard as you'll see once his right knee gets inside the hip there that's like a Z guard for uh, lower belts that's a uh, your legs are shaped like a Z it's, it's half guard Marlon does a nice job controlling the heel to pass here and see see how Rob's got that he's trying to get separation nice step over after he kind of pushed it down but found his hip conscience conscious and uses raised hips from the cage to free his left leg right here see that and now he so he's going hip in hip out subtle little center line manipulation to go parallel and then get the right arm underhook and this is this is the key to getting up and I think DC even mentioned it in commentary um, now he's gonna scoop scoot his hips out in a way to look for a two-on-one I guess you could call it a Russian or a baseball bat grip but He's just going to one. -on it's a little easier to explain. To to avoid this guillotine and now stand and separate. It, it's important to know these these hows. Air quote that in order to better understand how he kept it standing. You know, it's it's nice to just show off the great job, but you got to know how he got there. So we're off. First off, a tie friendly block into a right hand and a long three for Marlon. Kind of slap back right there. So that was like an exchange, we'll say, and I love that. Beautiful high guard, little trip hammer type jabs to get his range, and then he follows up with with threes and fours around the guard. This is very intelligent boxing to start linear and go round. Um, last time we talked about this, or you heard my voice talking about it anyway, was with Style Bender versus Costa. As I've always said, and now kind of everyone does body work pays dividends. It's a beautiful stiff jab from distance, and this feint here. And footwork, a little cheat step to set up the stiff jab on the downbeat. There, faint. Boom. That's wonderful. And now he's going to sell the same, but angle breaks to hide this this four to start. And it's a, it's a four, three, four. So right hook, left hook right there. And then another bang. That one really slammed in. And uh, Marais connected a little bit, but to no avail. So he's always dangerous. Rob intelligently found kind of the middle of aggression and being cautious afterward so right here there otherwise that would have been a sleeping pill no doubt this beautiful flare jab was sold and thrown about as perfect as you can in, in MMA with those gloves and also will slow it down but note from the guard he flares his elbow this is just my explanation of it you, you flare your elbow like a hook to then slam the jab in between the guard that might then go out these uh, New England cartel guys like Cater have shown tremendous boxing as of late, especially their jobs, their jobs, their jabs, their footwork, and their um, their uppercuts are, are, are very accurate as well. And check out this, he goes jab into like a jab fake collar tie and a wonderful little Randy Couture would blush bit of dirty boxing right there. That is a beautiful jab. Jab fake by the head, uppercut, and it grazes the chin, but it's just it's the angle that makes it look like you know it wasn't the most devastating punch there and from here i don't think i have to tell you that he marias is in big trouble um but killer instinct doesn't seem to be something that rob is lacking he is absolutely on him there i thought it'd be stopped here i don't know about you um but he let it go on a little bit more and right here he's trying to get that underhook rob just Po intelligently postures up puts the nail in the coffin via this little elbow smash and uh, from wrist control there which is just ground striking 101 but done perfectly and that was that um, here's a little more work at his handiwork but I, I was so impressed with Rap's boxing and it seems to be something coming out of those the New England cartel guys that train at Hard Knocks him Cater and I know I know those guys through um, Saidi Tong back in the day, local Lobo and crew, Slippery Pete. Shout out to all my people, Martel Grate, of course. Um, and thanks for watching, everyone. And don't forget about the new join up on the club, my Patreon, etc., etc. Hit that like button, share with all your friends. Let them know BD in the house. Deuces.